welcome Mike Peters. Nice to have you back. Oh, good to be back. They seem to have missed you, Mike. How, how do you feel? Are I you, miss them, really. Are yeah. you nervous? Because it's, it's strange to me. Leaving a band like The Alarm, you're starting from scratch. Yeah, it, is, uh, it's, it takes a while to sort of shed the skin of something that's been such a big part of your life, an important part of your life. And it takes a while to come to, come to terms with that. But I'm just really getting over leaving The Alarm and, and, uh, and other things, personal things. And it, it's starting to feel right now. Now's the time when I can emerge from, from the shadows, really, and to start to put my life back together again. Because it must be odd looking back, and almost a bit unreal, what you achieved coming from real. Yeah. I mean, it sound, sounds like the end of the world. <coughs> oh, well, we always think that about Wales, but you, you got right to the centre of things, didn't you? Playing with everybody. Yeah, we, we, we travelled a long way. Our music took us you know, way beyond our dreams and imagination could, could have ever uh, sort of relayed those kind of images, and nothing could have uh, taken place or like it did, it was just a, an unbelievable sort of thing from, from real to playing with Bob Dylan and all yeah. kinds of things. Well, let's take us one at a time. Bob Dylan, what's he like? <coughs> he, Bob Dylan was, was great. He had a big impact on me in the time that I spent with him on the road. He really discussed with me things about breaking up your art, really, and not, not letting what you've done in the past have an imposition on what you're going to do in the future. And, and uh, we talked a lot about Wales because he's interested in, in Welsh poetry, and he really wanted to know where I was coming from, not just as a person, but as, a, as an artist, and uh, he had a really big effect on my life. And the things like, you know, I really enjoy just getting up and playing with people, but when you get the chance to do it with people like Bob Dylan, what is that feeling for you, somebody you've admired from <laughs> yeah. far for a long time? Well, it was, ju it was just unreal, really, walking out to play with him on the stage. And I played with him in Los Angeles at the Greek Theatre and uh, sing, sang uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door, we duetted that together and I took the, the third verse and then we duetted the choruses together and, and it was, you know, it was, I can't really describe it, it was just that, you know, I'm sure everyone has a dream that's similar yeah. and that was mine and there it was. And then the second night I went to do it, he invited me up again because he enjoyed doing it so much. So we went on and I was walking on, G Smith, the, the, who's Dylan's guitar player, was shouting, it's all changed now, you've got to do it in a different key, different everything. So he, he kind of throws things at you like that. He, he's testing you out to see if you've got the balls to go with him all the way. And, and he does uh, it to the band every night as well, does does it he? does it to the band and everything. And uh, it just starts the song off and then you have to listen to what chord he's playing and, mm -hmm. and go with it. Things like uh, starting again, where do you start again? I suppose you had access, if you're playing with people like Bob Dylan and Neil Young, you've got access to all the greatest musicians in the world who are at least going to listen and be interested in being a part Oh. Yeah, that, 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 there's always that, but, but I, it doesn't work for me. I'm t I come from a sort of punk rock background and the Spirit of 76 is, that's, that's me. That's my life story in that song. And uh, I can't go and work with session players. It doesn't sit right. It, it doesn't feel right. So, so who are I, they then? Well, these are, uh, they're from Wales. Yeah. And they're all Welsh guys and they're, they're a band, yeah. Give them a big cheer. They're called yeah. Jess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh. Our paths crossed quite some time ago. They, um, I found a friend of mine, Gareth Morales, who told me about this great band from Wales called Jess, and uh, checked out a record that they made and uh, invited them on some shows with The Alarm. And they just blew me away. I thought they were an incredible band, and we've stayed really good friends since then. And about six months ago, I called them up and said, look, let's see if it works together. And we plugged in down in Cardigan, and we played Anarchy in the UK, and we thought, wow, this is amazing. Let's run with this it. This is a band. <laughs> All right, well, this is the first time it's been seen on television anywhere That's in the right, world. That's right, yeah. When can we actually hear records going out well, and stuff like that? Well, we're going to have a, a new single out on the 17th of January. And a UK tour starts on the 3rd of February, so see you then. Mike Peters and the Poets! Yeah.